What's going on everyone, Darkwater here, and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are back in our Pittsburgh International Airport recreation, looking at Concourse A. We did that last time, got the walls in, we got... I did the outlay of the tiles, I have not done the carpet again. That's going to be happening with the Concourse B as well, so I can just knock out both at the same time. Wanted to come here and just kind of finish off the area. So these restaurants up at the top here, there's a Marathon Diner, has kind of a 1950s diner-esque feel to it. There's McDonald's, and there's Chai Pittsburgh Fusion. So all of those are kind of up in here, we've got the McDonald's, we need the diner in here. Is there anything diner-esque? A lot of display fridges. We might. Uh, we'll go with Ziti's Italian. Um, you just need three cooking stations. We can do that. Um, we might have to look at getting all the restaurant pack, and that's just going to be a lot. Um, so we're going to start here real quick. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and uh, are enjoying the series. Need some cooking stations for this diner. One, two, three. Uh, we'll do a small register here, another small register here. We're going to do a little bit of open counter space. Actually, I take that back. Hold on, hold on. Let's zoop. take that out for a second. Let's push that forward so I can get a wall in there. Do a wall something like that we'll take it down um, apparently I have to rezone that okay now let's try that again we'll do one we'll do another one further down kind of over here I think and then we'll do a bunch of space in the middle for like a that I think. Um, as for seating in these, we've got some bar stools. Throw those all the way around, and then it is kind of a it looks like a 1950s esque style diner. So a lot of kind of a uh, bright red and white. That's not what I want. I want this. We'll do kind of this corner table. You know what? I think I want to actually move that table one space up. I think I kind of want to do like a little wall divider there. I debated about filling this, but I'm not entirely sure that will people will actually be able to squeeze in there. Uh, what am I looking for? Watch the sofa, one there. Although I'm going to end up extending it out on the sides here, but that's that's fine. Something like that, and you just copy those and drop it in there. And then it looks like there's just kind of small white tables with red chairs. Not there. Put it at the table, that would be great. Actually, I need to move that, don't I? I don't think anybody's going to be able to get into that back chair and somebody's going to get stuck. I've had that happen before, which is interesting to say the least. Uh, what was I doing? A square chair. White. White table. I can't paint that. Um, I should 
probably, you know, add in the other two tables, shouldn't I? Table, table. And then they're kind of this bright, bright red. Same with all stools. I would paint the countertop, but you can't paint the registers, which I'm a little annoyed with. So I'm just going to leave it the regular countertop color. We'll do that. I think that'll work. Um, as for flooring, I think it's going to be this. This feels very diner-esque to me. Uh, we'll even come out up there and let's do some gray tile back at the kitchen for uh, for the cooks. Go ahead and. Open up the these. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the other uh, restaurants loaded in. Now we're gonna stick with ZD. Go ahead and sign that contract, and you guys can go ahead and finish building that. And then we've got the Chai Fusion place. Quick serve stop featuring sushi and other Asian favorites. Um, let's see. We do have sushi in here. We need three cooking stations, a stove, modular sofas. We can get all that in here. That's that's doable real quick. Um, cooking stations. One, two, and three. Uh, actually, let's take that back just a little. One, two, three. And I want to do a counter rocks, I think. Do a wall there and a wall there. Let's come back and we need a stove. Even though there's stoves attached, do two on each. Um, do a sink on that side, a sink on that side, and do a fridge in the middle, and that'll work. I think I want to come over one more with wall. There we go. Let's grab some bar stools. So that you can watch them making your sushi. Uh, we need a cash register. I think we'll put it kind of on the side over here. A little bit of counter on either side. Actually, yeah. Do a couple counters there. That'll work. And then, what was the other thing we needed? Um... Maybe. There we go. Need modular soap. That right. And in fact, I'm just going to come over here. We're gonna grab this. I do one, two. I think I'm even gonna grab this corner right up here. Um, I do want to adjust this one, just because it, it looks off. There we go. So we've got those. We will get some... I'm feeling round tables here. Um, something like that. Maybe some luck. Something a little bit plush. Uh, it looks like it's dark 
third seed. that color um looks like it's a, a white counter with like wood trim underneath it we'll stick with the black and white theme essentially okay thank you And I think we'll do just one more right there. Gives you a little bit of walk area. Uh, it looks like kind of a lighter colored wooden floor, something like this. Go ahead and sign the contract. Get some folks getting their sushi. Also over here in this corner is a Hudson River Market. So you can get your newspapers and whatnot. What are you guys? Oh, everybody wants their coffee. Okay, that's, I guess that's fair. Um, what am I looking for? Shots. I guess we'll go something like that. How far over are you? One, two, three, four, and then wall. One, two, three, four, wall. So it comes over to here-ish. I will just do that. Um, let's delete this and then come back with a little bit larger shop room like so um, let's get our registers in every time forget which direction I think it's this I've got a shop somewhere do I not not handy that's fine yeah, see? See? Got it backwards there. Um, you guys are fine. Okay. We'll get that taken care of. Um, there's our wall shelves. Do one, two, apparently three. A little space in between. Um, I think we'll just kind of do some large basic ones coming down the side here. Uh, we'll leave that space open because you're going to need a little bit of space for folks to, you know, check out. And then I think we'll go with the nice ones. Just in there like that. So, looking at pictures, it seems like it's kind of a dark area around. In fact, I'm going to dump that. I'm just going to do a single run around the rest of it, and it looks like it's kind of a really light wood through the middle. Something like that. Yeah. So you guys are going to finish building all of that. You are a newspaper stand, essentially. We will get the paper plane in here. Nope, nope, nope. I want the paper new. 
So you guys can have that space. You guys can work your way through. We've got a little bit of open area. We're going to have the same thing kind of over here. And that basically is going to wrap up this whole area. Again, all of this I will do probably in an episode or two. Well, at least between the episodes. Um, this I'm going to wait till next time. But one last thing that I do want to kind of get in is some small break rooms down here for all of these hardworking men and women. Because look at that bathroom, no energy. We need all the ramp agents to have themselves a nice little break room. So we're going to do a small break room down on each of the different uh, diagonals, I guess. I don't even know what I want to use there. So we'll do a kind of a, a small bathroom area. And then the rest of it will just kind of be a nice break room. We'll get a, a couple doors, doors in here. Telling me that doors need to be inside like I didn't know that. Uh, so bathroom. Oh, I think so. Probably going to be a thing. Um, you know what? We're going to do something interesting. We're going to do that. Do that. That and that. So both genders, but it's going to be a employee. Well, we're going to open that up. The staff. So that's already zoned as a staff zone. We're going to do a staff room. We're going to clear all type. We're going to do ramp agents. I guess we could do surf. And let's just do. Yeah, we'll do service decks as well. Why is there a janitor here? Do I need to do janitors as well? Eh, we'll just stick with those two for the time being. Uh, let's make this a little bit nicer. Let's get some couches in here. We'll even splurge for the nicer modern couches. Something like that. We'll add in a couple of vending machines, I think. We'll do some drinks down here. We'll do some foods down here. So that during the hot summer months, you've got something you can drink. During the, uh, the cold winter month, maybe you can get some hot chocolate. We'll even put a, a little fern in here for you. I want well, a palm. Um, that's a fern. Put a fern over here in the corner. We'll even get you a table or two, maybe. One there, one there. And then we'll do some, maybe some nice modern armchairs kind of in the middle here. Again, we'll have a nice burn in the middle, get a couple of tables, and I think let's do a couple more modern sofas on either side. Let's uh, at least give them a nice paint job. What color are your uniforms? Nice bright green. Maybe we'll do kind of a, a green theme. Actually, let's go with a bright yellow. No. No, let's not go with bright yellow. How about a nice darker green? Eh, that's too Starbucks-y. Yeah, that's not bad. Save that now. There's a high likelihood I'm going to end up uh, changing that paint color, but we'll see. So there we go. Uh, let's. We'll even splurge a little bit. Give these guys some tile down here in the floor. And we'll have a nice fancy mat. And there we go. We've got ourselves a nice break room for the staff. Um, can I... I'll be all of this. We're going to slide across. We're going to do this. Um... Maybe we'll put her down over here. Right? And 
and then we'll slide over here. And that's a little close. Ooh. I'm not going to put one here. Because there is a high likelihood we're going to have to redo how baggage goes so that we can get folks through from the international area to over here. So I'm going to hold off on that one. This is coming probably two, maybe three episodes from now. Um, I'd kind of like to put this a little bit closer to there, but uh, how about we do here? Just careful whenever you're crossing the road. And I'm just going to go ahead and zone all this as a staff zone. There, okay, it is. Uh, probably need to turn the bathrooms on. I'm going to go ahead and set it for employee. You're okay. You guys you guys are going to have to move at some point. Again, that's coming in the very near future as well. But look at there. You guys are building. We've got a service tuck in here hanging out. Got good old Mira using the bathroom. But yeah, you guys have a nice place to relax. If you're close to where you guys are working, that'll uh, make things a little bit more efficient for you guys. And I think we're kind of good to go. We've got the rest of this finished. And next time, I think it's going to be hammering out all of Concourse B. Getting the bathrooms in there. It's going to be... That's not what I wanted to hit. It's going to be similar to Concourse A. Uh, shortly thereafter, I will probably go through and do all the flooring in between episodes. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to just sit there and watch me do square by square by square. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. Look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Oh, yeah.